East Anglia has a long history of brewery. Although this area was taken and directly ruled by Romans after 43 AD, they didn't bring the art of brewing to Britain, for they were not really interested in beer. About 126 hectares of barley grow in the east of England, with about a third of it used for brewing and distilling. Well, we, there's a lot. There's a strong local identity, and people like the idea that a large number of the ingredients have come from within a very small area. And we're very lucky that Norfolk, the the land in Norfolk, is very good for growing barley. Historically, for hundreds of years, they've, they've grown barley here,、um, and the barley that's good for for malting and turning into beer. It's it is grown in other parts of the country, but the quality that we get here in Norfolk is very good. So、um, we have very good climate for growing it. We tend to get、uh, a better quality than some of the other places,、uh, the north of England and, and Scotland, and even down in the southwest. The brewery history here could stretch back to 1986. And it was the first recorded brewery in East Anglia, which written down in the Doomsday Book. A group of monks were brewing ale on the site of the Great Abbey in Bury St Edmunds. As the bigger brewers started to come in, and and they started to take over, so you had、uh, courage, had a strong presence in this area,、um, and also then you had Watneys came in. And they were they were buying up breweries left, right, and centre. So the local brewers, they tried to fight this off by by coming together, by merging.、Uh, and you had the, those three Norwich breweries ended up all being part of one brewery called the Norwich Brewery. But in the end, they weren't strong enough to hold off against the the, the massive power of Watneys as a company. And Watneys bought out Norwich Brewery. And for a while, there was no beer brewed in Norwich at all because they brewed it elsewhere and, and shipped it in. This was part of the reason people when, were ready for a revolution when the lager came in, and also when small breweries started up again. Woodford's was the first in in this area.、Uh, they blazed the trail,、um, and after that, which was how long ago was that, Mark? Was that the early eighties, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. When Woodford started up, and from there we've seen. An explosion of breweries over the last sort of twenty years to the point where we now have, as I say, forty breweries in in Norfolk, and there's there, there must be six, seven, eight breweries just in Norwich area alone. So it, it's gone from being a handful of a handful of reasonable sized brewers covering a larger area, going down to just one brewer dominating the area, and now we have all these. Small breweries serving their own little individual areas and all trying to get into Norwich because it's the main city. But、uh, it's a very interesting and vibrant time to be brewing beer in, in this area now. It's it's,、uh, it's a big improvement from the 70s, which was when it was so terribly bad. Great. We could do. We just choose what. Just go in. Sort of different shades. The beers we do. You know, sort of pale. When some industrial big brands like Green King served more and more pubs, some microbreweries start to focus on their own tastes, and they focus on more on craft beer. However. They still face a challenge. Our, our biggest challenges come from、uh, similarly sized breweries to ourselves. The large breweries, the big brands, they tend not to care too much about people like us because we're we're very local on the whole, and we don't impact their strategy on a nationwide or even a global scale. But particularly in Norfolk here, we have a, a, a large number of brewers for quite a small area. We have about forty different breweries. Round about, some a bit bigger, some a bit smaller, our own size. We're all fighting for the same sort of market share. We're all aiming in the same pubs.、Um, you know, people who really take care of craft beer and, and can make sure that your beer is served at good quality. So our biggest struggle comes from new people constantly coming into the market, thinking that they can take some of our share. So we have to fight against that all the time and just maintain our standards and our, our brand.